LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, my seventeen. Five, four, three, two. One lift off. We go to the down Power range telemetry nominal. What beautiful views from Falcon 9 first as it lifts off from Cape Canaveral Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Falcon Force is supersonic. Station. We are carrying our 53 Starlink satellites to orbit. Moments ago, we throttled our engines down in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure, which we should be passing through in just a few moments. Max Q. We did just pass through max Q, and we will have three events happening in quick succession in just a few minutes, which first we will have main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and second engine startup one. We're about 30 seconds from main engine cutoff here. You'll want to watch for uh, main engine cutoff, stage separation, and SES-1. You can see the Falcon 9 first stage going through uh, there the go. mist there. Stage separation confirmed. We did have main engine cutoff and stage separation. You can see second engine startup. We did have MVAC ignition. That is second engine startup. The stage two is heading towards its targeted drop-off orbit for our Starlink satellites. And stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back down to Earth. The first is the entry burn, where three of the M1D engines Acquisition will of signal, Bermuda. reignite. And this helps slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. On those live views from the second stage on your right, you can see the first stages for fairing separation confirmed. <laughs> fairing has also separated on our second stage. You can see our 53 Starlink satellites there. You can see those beautiful views from the first and second stages. And the second stage MVAC engine is continuing its burn, carrying our 53 Starlink satellites. If you're just catching up with us, we had a successful launch of Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Slick 40, and you're looking at live views of Falcon 9's first and second stages, as second stage is on its way to deliver our Starlink payload to orbit, and stage one is making its way back to our drone ship, just read the instructions in the Atlantic Ocean. Now the Merlins on the first stage. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Both vehicles are on nominal trajectories, as you just heard. Stage two, FTS is saved. We did get confirmation that stage two uh, flight termination system has saved, and we should have second engine cutoff here very shortly. Tico one. And there on your left, the first stages, four hypersonic group fins have deployed. The stage two is heading towards its targeted drop-off orbit for our Starlink satellites, and stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back down to Earth. 
The first is the entry burn, where three of the M1D engines Acquisition will of signal, Bermuda. reignite, and this helps slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn, and this is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. Stage one, entry burn, start up. We did have the start of our stage one entry burn. You can see on those live views, that's a three engine burn of the Falcon 9 first stage. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. We did have a successful stage one entry burn. So we will have three events coming up here in quick succession. The stage one landing burn, uh, which will be starting here shortly. Vehicle Fol is in terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn start up. Here's the stage one landing burn. Can maybe just make out that drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean there. What a cool view. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage two, FTS is saved. We are still waiting for confirmation of our first stage landing, but we will uh, see if we can't get some uh, information on that. <laughs> but we do have a successful uh, orbit and second engine cutoff stage for our confirmed. second stage. And we did just get confirmation of our stage one landing. Of signal, Newfoundland. This is the 87th overall successful recovery of our Falcon 9 first stage. And next up will be payload deployment at about T plus 15 minutes uh, and a half, 15 and a half minutes. So while we coast for the next six minutes or so, sit back and enjoy the tunes and we'll see you soon. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, a quick recap of today's mission. We had a successful liftoff from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station at 7.19 a.m. Eastern Time. We then had successful stage separation, recovered our first stage after its ninth flight on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. We are now waiting on the deployment of our Starlink satellites. Again, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured. Starlink oh. deploy confirmed. You can see we did have successful deployment of our Starlink satellites here. And again, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX that can provide high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe. You can see our 53 Starlink satellites floating away from the second stage there with the beautiful backdrop of the earth in the background. Thank you to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers and all of our Starlink customers. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.